to our third league. <laughs> and we're, uh, we're gonna just keep this list the same. I wanna get some more games in, and matches in with this league. <laughs> with this version. <laughs> I'm so confused. Like, I know Mardu has a bad matchup against Tron, but... Wow! They're just like, nah, nah, that's, it's over. Inquisition done. Oh. A fiesta indeed, sweetie boo. A fiesta indeed. Just not finding opponents right now, apparently. Okay. Spoke too soon. Alright, we're shipping that. Hmm. Not a big fan of this hand. But, this hand can sh and should form Tron, so. We got one Tron piece on top, that's good. Because we have one on top already, I'm just going to run out the Relic and pass. Because otherwise we're just going to be using the Stirrings to uh, get the land that's on top. And I'd rather just draw that and save the Stirrings for something else. Because we might need two looks, for all we know. And Relic's definitely not the worst thing to have against uh, Storm or Phoenix here. Oh, they're milling us. They want to go for the surgical. We will have to hold up our relic. So I want to keep up both abilities of Relic here just in case they are going for this big surgical play. Um, that way we can activate and target what they're hitting and then activate it if they need be. So. Oh, they're just going to Surgical Worm Coil. I don't even feel like letting them do that. It's our card. You don't get to look at anything. Creator. Oh, good. Good at that. 
So we can go great creator. Okay, I don't want to bolt the creator. That's fine. Let's grab a Trinosphere. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good creator. Oh look, another one. Is that resolved? They got another bowl for us. That'd be pretty good. <laughs> yeah, they do. Oh, uh, they're so mean. I mean, we're the main ones, but... Alrighty. Um, do we want to grab... Hmm... I mean, Snaring Bridge wouldn't be bad. It should prevent them from ever attacking us. We're not going to be able to cast it this turn, though. Uh, Worm Coil is also uh, another relevant threat. Let's grab the Worm... Um, yeah, let's grab the Worm Coil. I feel like I'm just playing a blue-red control deck right now. If we can get another land, we're going to be able to Ulamog them, and it'll be pretty baller. We're good with that. Because we're just going to Ugin and exile it. Should we pop the relic just to see if we have two shots at getting the land? Because if we hit a land, we can just exile two lands. And they're not casting anything for us some time. I feel like that's reasonable enough. Let's do it. Yeah, we got a land. We're completely unreasonable. <laughs> uh, all right, let's bring in these nature's claims and these thought nuts. Try that. Yeah. Get rid of the Ulamog. Um, should we be bringing in the Thrag Task? I don't feel like it, right? Did we end up opting to not bring in the Thought Knots last time? Because I feel like that was the case. Because there was nothing we really wanted to cut. Are Thought Knots better than the Worm Coils here, though? Should we be pulling the Worm Coils out because we can go fetch those up? Where the Thought Knots we can't? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, let's try that. We've got Tron. Let's just see if we can find something to play with. digging around. It's a new gun. 
Threat acquired. So there is a world where we may want to play Blast Zone next turn, so then we can tick it up, and then the following turn crack the Blast Zone. I don't think that's unreasonable in any way. Because if we go for the Ugin play, well, maybe we just want to run an O Stone next turn. And then if they counter that, that's fine, because then we'll then go Ugin. Phoenixes, do you have opponents? None. How joyous. That's a surgical on our stirrings, okay. And we rip the Karn off the top of the deck. We are monsters. Absolute monsters. stack my deck. No, I just I just practice my draw steps a lot. Put Karn out of reach. And let's see if this Ugin resolves. I could have gone for like hitting the Spire Bluff Canal if they had like a Ceremonious Rejection um, or Spell Pierce. So my thought on that is I'd I'm basically getting two cards out of their hand at that point, and I thought that was more worthwhile. And Karn should stick around. Like now they should have a hard time taking care of Karn. Um, Unless, like, even if they get double Phoenix back, it still doesn't get rid of it. They are just not hitting much. I'm gonna take one of their red sources now. Just run this out there and run out O Stone. This way I can add a counter on Blast Zone to two and put a fake counter on uh, Karn. There's a Phoenix for them. Have I ever found a need to Karn alt? I think I've honestly only ever ulted with Karn, uh, Karn like a handful of times. Um, 
One of the times I actually found that it was useful to Karn alt was actually needing to reset the game against Burn. And that situation should never come up. But they kept whiffing and um, I couldn't win the game, so then eventually I restarted the game to gain life, I believe. Um, I also did it against, I believe, Control, uh, where the game was just grinding a ton. I couldn't go down to uh, clean up their stuff, but I had to, so I had to keep going up just to keep upticking it. Um, so those are the situations I had. Um, I did Karn alt against a um, escape shift deck once. And I really didn't understand why they wanted to keep playing. Because um, I started the game with a prime time. And they were just like, okay, let's play the game. I'm like, okay, start the game. I have a prime time in play. Swing, get two Tron pieces. Play Tron piece, go. Like, I had Karn on, I Tron on turn two. So they were like, once they realized that I could attack with it right away, then they... Uh, chose not to keep going but we had to go shuffle go through the whole process and then they're like oh yeah i lose and i'm like yes <laughs> but yeah there really shouldn't be a need to ever carn alt all right well we have tron form but we have nothing to do with it so um hopefully they don't have a payoff that's too strong because we also can't cast our ulamog next turn All right, so there's the chance that they hit the power plant. Nope, they hit the tower. All right, that'll be game. All right, let's get rid of the relics. Get rid of the O stone. Bring in the nature's claim and the fauna. Although my, my friends always want me to ult with Karn. They want me to like start upticking on my own hand to take out the threats I want to start the game with and then restarting. But it always feels like it's so much win more. But Got Karn. This hand's super suspect, just I'm saying it now. I normally wouldn't keep this, but in the mirror, you need to hit. Um, you need to hit turn three Karn most of the time. Let's keep it. Let's risk it. What's the other card you want to see? Oh, we got it on top. What's the other card you want to see in um, Modern Horizon, sweetie? Flame Tongue Kavu would be sweet. I'm just a big fan of that card. I love it in every cube I've ever played. Yeah, I hope they give um, mid rangey decks a little bit more. I know, you know, people want to see it return a little bit more to the mid rangey um, and not so much combo. Combo obviously gets pretty boring for most people. Okay. 
Um, Sand's not forming it. Sand's also not forming it. Yeah, you know, for sure. I, I think eventually you... Like, they've, they've given enough hate pieces against Tron that it eventually may just be not worth it for anyone to run it. Um, this hand's not forming Tron at all, but at the same time, they could possibly hose them, but it's, it doesn't have the green source that I want. If I were to keep this hand, it would need to have a green source. This hand's also not doing it. They are keeping, which is not good for us. Oh boy, I'll keep this four, it's got a land, but we're probably not winning this one. That's definitely in the right direction. We just draw Tron with no problem. <laughs> Let's get liquid metal. Stop on their upkeep and pass it over. Minus. We luck sacked our way into that win for that one, obviously. Just mulling to four and just top decking the other pieces. And we're good with this. three Karn and see what we can find to stop them. This is the other reason I really like the new Great Creator. I, I feel like we have four turn three Tron plays. Uh, I mean eight turn three Tron plays are just so powerful. They didn't rip a card out of our hand turn one. And hopefully they don't have a ghost quarter. That's pretty bad for us.
Luckily, we're only two turns away from playing regular small card. They've got a bob. Let's draw a card. It's strings, and we've got a mine. Alrighty. That's a field of ruin. Very unfortunate. Yet. We're gonna Karn minus yes and get ourselves a crucible. <laughs> so sad. We took our crucible. Ah, we probably should have held off a turn, right? We'll pitch the Ulamog here. Karn's gonna go down to one. We'll have to uptick into nothing, basically. Play Blast Zone. Mm -mm -mm. Take on our relic just to block. They would use feel charm against it to kill it, and then we lose mm. a draw. Or they would just minus with Liliana. Doesn't seem great. Is a draw just better in case we hit the Tron piece? I think so. Nope. Hmm. I guess we can make them waste it on a card. <sighs> Too bad those wasn't the star, so we could still get the draw. That's a fatal push. Dead. We have the option of either upticking to take out Liliana or taking out the Bobs. I guess we're going to play to win, which means we're going to be taking out. I guess we can give it a turn. Let's see what they do in their turn. We might just be dead regardless. Bob in the swamp.
I got rid of their swamp. Pretty sure they're just trying to decide if they want to play Dark Confidant. Okay, I think we have to uptick the Liliana. Just in case we don't draw something to deal with that we have to. Oh, stone. Ugin. That's a map. Oh, wait. Did we just skip past our turn? Oh, we definitely did. Oh, that's awkward. Okay. Well, let's blow up Liliana. Oh, we're just... Where are we? Mm. Oh, that's smallpox. That'll kill us. That's awkward. I didn't see how we skipped past our turn, but apparently we skipped past our turn. It wasn't really relevant, because we just have Expedition Map, but... Yeah, they're just going to swing at us and cast smallpox and we die. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, we don't need the relics. We do need the nature's claims. And I think we want the Thrag Tusk. I don't think Thought Nuts that relevant here. I think we're fine. Ulamog's pretty high cost, and there's a chance we might not get to that point. And then I want to keep the World Breaker because I can hit those. Um... So I'm going to trim one card. Hit those uh, rack effects. I imagine they're playing Dovin now, too, because Dovin's pretty sweet. Not Dovin. Who am I thinking of? Davriel? ship this and we can keep this let's put that on the bottom we're really just looking to form trial Stirrings, we will grab a map. They smallpox us again, that'd be quite the blowout. Feels like a smallpox, yeah. I think we need to ditch the worm coil and we'll ditch a mine.
position. Mm, I don't really want to blow up our maps, so. Do we just get Blast Zone? No, we can fetch... Yeah. Blast Zone can get rid of the Bob. Then we can try to draw out of this. Let's grab that. for us. It's interesting. We got two mines and a tower in our grave. Um, I'm cracking this now in case we hit a drag tusk again. I want to be able to cast it. Yeah, it takes one damage off the table. All right. Well, we can form Tron, but we need to draw something in order to. Not just lose to this, we gotta deal with that rack. Six mana left. We'll take three and three and lose. And we already played a land this turn, so we can't go for the Crucible to bring back Blast Zone to activate it. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. 
Worm coil is not good enough either. Do we play Relic? And just try to draw a card on their end step? Oh wait, no, we'll we'll be fine. We'll just get worm coil like we'll take three on our next turn, but we should be okay. Yeah, we'll be. F I'll, I'll doubling up the damage for some reason. If they play another one, then we're dead. Yeah, and we, and we can't go for the um, we can't go for the lattice lock because then. We could go for the Lattice Lock and then just wipe the board and no one would have anything, I guess. I mean, we have our lands, but just to turn them off a turn. I feel like the Worm Quell is the safer play. I think no matter what here, we're starting this off with swinging three at Liliana. Because if they block, block here, we'll go get Lattice and not play the Sylvan's Crying. We'll just hold it in hand. They can't do anything. We'll gain the three life, and then we'll go back down by two. And then we will take over the game from there by just not playing anything. If they let Liliana die, that's also fine. Because we'll do this. we're still going to do the same thing regardless. Again, oh, just saw your uh, message, Ben. You so I didn't like the idea of grabbing stone and wiping the board because if we go that route, we lose our tokens and we're getting everything off the board, but we also lose our card, and then we're left with just land. So then if they play any rack effect at that point, we're going to be in a pretty bad spot. I thought by going this way, um, as long as we, we, could, we would lock them out with the lattice, and then the worm coil allowed for us to stabilize, because they had to deal with it, and we were gaining enough life. 
Yeah, Thranktus is a very good card. Um, it does pretty much a lot of what we're looking for um, in those niches where we where Tron fails to do what it needs to do. So. It's interesting that they took the play. I think they're supposed to actually take the draw. Um, let's go map. Pass. So they small poxes here. It's not the end of the world. We can, I believe, we can still recover from that. Play a land, we'll play a sphere, and hope to just go from that. I'm gonna ditch the worm coil here because I want to keep the O stone around in case we do get to activate it. We'll just take out their rack effects and whatnot. All right, if they don't have another smallpox, we'll be okay. If they have, if they have another smallpox, we're, we're we're pretty bad. So let's hope they don't have that. <laughs> Bitter Blossom's fine. fine. It's awkward that we can't form Tron and cast the O-Stone. We'll have to form Tron and just hold up. Um, yeah, so we're just going to uh, form Tron here. Grab our power plant. We'll play it and we'll pass. We can hold this up and we'll be able to, if they get like a field of ruin or something, we'll be able to activate this. So. Thought Seize. That's a bummer. We wanted to cast that O Stone, but we'll be able to carn up another one. So. ditch the tower I'm trying to think if we need to go fetch up a land right now because if we don't fetch it up now we might not be able to but uh mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I think we have to. We should fetch him now, and we'll grab. We'll grab another tower. It's good. So we can discard the mine to the Liliana. We can. Karn here. Do we just Karn into Lattice and just have Karn take two? And then next turn play our Karn? And yeah, okay.
this would have been a situation where I would have wanted walking ballista, but we don't have that. We can't O stun and wipe the board if we want, um, and leaving them with just the swamp and the muta vault. That's not bad. We could uptick Karn on Lattice, use Lattice, swing at Liliana, see if they block. If they block, um, takes out the rogue, and then we can use other Karn to minus on a fairy. That doesn't seem bad. Do we just switch? Yeah. Can we just swing at them? Because we don't care about how fast this clock is? Because they can't cast anything anyway? No, they can. Because they'll... If they get... They'll be able to kill our Karn next turn if they don't block, so... I think we're gonna crack our star. Oh wow, we are good. We are. I mean, we're not amazing, but we're good because we're going to be able to shoot them. They have to swing at Karn. Because we can't exile, but everything's colorless because of the lattice. They'll be unlocked. Yeah. It's a rogue. And we'll hold a card in hand, and we'll pass. No, the, everything's colorless, so if you did minus with Ugin, it doesn't get rid of anything. Minus Karn 2, get rid of Bitter Blossom, and then Karn would take 4. If we don't do that, Karn could take 7. So we'll have to do that. Oh wait, no. Can't do that. Can't do that. I just talked about that. We're just going to have to... Oh, if we shoot a token, Karn still gets hit for six. If we shoot them, they're going to go down three and then go down again. I think we have to go after them. If they, I think they have to send at least one Muta Vault to Ugin, so we can't all. They should know that.
really needed a payoff there. So now they can hit it for six. Six, eight, nine, ten. We shoot one, we still die. What a bummer, our own lattice killed us. Maybe we should have played, uh, like, so we played the Ugin instead of playing the Karn, and maybe we should have played the Karn. Um, but Ugin being able to alt and all that stuff seemed pretty relevant. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, it's just not enough. Oh wait, do we go to nine? Oh, they don't. Oh, they have another rack. The rack doesn't do anything. They are gonna swing at U again. Still alive. And that's a nature's claim that can't do anything. Mm -mm -mm. They can't activate the other muta vault though. So I think we pass. We can Karn trigger Sanctum. But. Unfortunately, I don't think that's good enough. Can't cast the Worm Coil. They would just die in the air. Nope. We are dead, folks. That's a bummer. This hand is not forming Tron. I'm going to ship this one. This hand is forming Tron. We'll keep this one. And it's got a Karn. Thank you so much for joining us for the night, guys, both Jetta and Sweetie. Much appreciated. I'll be back next week, Sunday. So have a wonderful night, and I'll see you guys then. And if anyone is interested and has to log off, I will be posting the videos later tonight, all three leagues that we did per, uh, go through. So. Gotcha.
Very much appreciate that. I think we're gonna run out the worm coil here. Yeah, you just uh, crushed us, right? On the mono black. <laughs> that was a close game at the end there. Yeah, my lock just was not good enough, and I uh, had some choices there that I, I think uh, if I would have gotten another line, I possibly could have had it, but it was, either way, it was really rough because uh, dealing with both your main lands and the rack and your bitter boss it was just overwhelming, so I wasn't able to. Yeah, that is one of the awkward parts of the deck now that we are Ugin. Maybe we should be running the other Ugin as a result. <laughs> yeah, I had the option to play card or Ugin, and I chose to go with the Ugin. Um, and not, you know, forgetting my own Lattice uh, and Ugin doesn't work together, so... Yeah, one, I mean, that is how magic goes. One move can be everything and cause a ripple effect to uh, cause the game to go over. Congrats on the 4-1 finish, man. That was uh, pretty good. We're just going against a Soul Tie mid-range deck, it feels like. Relic should be pretty good against them still. I think we're just going to run it back. I'm not uh, particularly interested in... Uh, Bring in Thought and Art of Thrags quite yet. I think we may need to bring them in, but everything else we have is still really good against this opponent. I'm a, uh, 11 leagues not cashing? That's no good. You're at least going 3 2, right? So you're not like paying for that many leagues, because that's always the worst. Oh, you drop if you go 0-2 in the beginning? You're hardcore. I uh, I always shoot for at least 3-2. If, if I go 0-3, then I'll drop. I'm going Sylvan Scrying here because they have counter magic, and our expedition map should be safe on the board, so we're just going to grab the mine here. That's fair. If you were up that high, then just saving time to go through enough 4-1s and 5-0s uh, would make sense. got the Tron piece we need now actually so we'll just uh, hold up that map no need to add an artifact to the graveyard if we don't have to we may want to go get a blast zone Spare. Okay, we're definitely gonna go get our blast zone. 
Mm -mm. If they have a cryptic, we're going to be in a pretty bad spot. Because <laughs> they're going to be taking a five here. And then we try to use the blast sun to go up. They bounce it. We have to redo it again. Yeah, that's, that's rough for us. I think that's what we need to do to stay alive. Oh crap. I did not click on that relic. We could have shrunk the goif significantly. What are the good cyborg cards against control in mono black? Um, I guess, what does your current list already look like? Unfortunately. Alright, let's bring in the claims. Let's bring in the thrags. Let's take a little bit off our top end. Just don't need them as much. Get rid of the world breaker and one card and one card. Oh. oh, did it? Did it already take it? Oh, I think it did. I think we're playing a 61 card deck. That's awkward. Okay, we'll keep this. We'll keep the relic as well. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you have too much against uh, control. Is control itself uh, inherently a bad matchup for you? I mean, it feels like Liliana, if you can get that to resolve, it's pretty much over for them. Um, did you... I'm curious, did you try out the new Davriel? To see if it was worth it to uh, increase your rack count?
I feel like you're just mainly bringing in the Bitter Blossoms and the Collectives, right? When you're in that matchup. There's not that much you need to do otherwise. Yeah, Last Hope seems more versatile, so I can definitely see where you're uh, doing with that. I thought the uh, having the um, the rack effect on top of the discard was enough, but it only gets to do two like two discards, and it's just sitting there as a rack effect, and you don't get to drop it till later. Yeah, the Teferi Jace stuff they can do to just get out of it um, is pretty awesome. It, it sucks, obviously, for anyone that's against it, but they get to do some pretty stupid ways to get out of the games. They click us. We're cool with that. Because we just have a map. Yeah, so three mana just to disc, disc, uh, drop it down at that point is just not really worth it. So it makes a lot of sense what you're talking about. Fetch up a blast zone. Yeah, unfortunately, I haven't played very much um, eight rack style decks to have very much knowledge on it. But it seems like you have a really good control on it and, and know what you're looking for, so. And your cyber does seem set up for pretty much everything else in the meta, so. We're gonna bring Blast Zone up to three because we can uh, keep the Goyfs at bay with the Relic. Once we keep drawing lands. Sanctum. Really is a payoff spell. Bit. Settle for a thrag for now.
That's pretty slick. Look in our hand before they counter. And that's unfortunately no good for us. Alright, started off strong with 2-0, and then we went into 0-2. We gotta finish this off to break even. Hand's not forming Tron reasonably, so we're gonna have to ship it. This hand's definitely not forming anything. Neither is that one. This one's really not doing it either. We're definitely going to lose this one. Let's feel it. Devoted combo. We're definitely losing to Devoted combo. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's, uh, we're good on that. All right, let's take out the relics. We're gonna bring in the thought knots, and then I think we're good. So if you bring in waste knot, though, um, aren't you increasing the potential for it being just a dead card in your hand, though? Or do you think that's worth it? Because you have to slow yourself down to play that before you start playing them, right? Ooh, they used Sony Silence. That might be pretty bad for us then. Thought not's good enough to keep us in the game. We'll take one Coco. They've got two. That's fair. I think I mean I don't think it's not worth worth not trying. Like I would definitely try it out, see if it's good. Okay, if they hit, if they hit a devoted druid off this, we might be dead. They don't have the payoff already. There's devoted. There's a knight of autumn. They get to do one more devoted. Yeah, that is fair. If if that is the game that you're just trying to prevent, then I think that would be worth trying out. Just another devoted? Yes, we're still in this game. Okay, they got another eternal witness.
<laughs> Another eternal witness. Holy crap. All right, we got to take this hit. We're gonna survive one more turn. I think that's gonna be pretty hard. If we block, block, we still take 12. If we block this and this. Oh, we're actually just dead no matter how we block. That's unfortunate. All right, well, that was a little bit of a bummer way to end the league and the night, but did go uh, 0 and 3. Um, so we will pick this back up next week, Sunday, everyone. Um, I'll try to, uh, my normal start time 6, but I'm going to try to get on about 4 or 5 o'clock. I'll make sure to post on my page, and you guys will obviously get the notification. Um, if you guys haven't followed me yet, greatly appreciate it. Um, I just do this so I can play test more um, and uh, play any decks you guys are interested in. So have a great night, everyone. Thank you so much. And these videos will be on my YouTube page and my Twitch in just a bit.